Hey guys, what's going on? Playing some more Honkai Impact 3rd. We should be hitting level 81 today, soon, actually. Uh, there are a few things gotta do, and then we can check that out. I'm pretty sure at least right now it's not gonna be a big deal. There might be one or two things, but uh, first of all, gotta go to our dailies and pick up this EXP chip. As you can see, we've done some other dailies already that give us some EXP, but we're gonna get our chip first, so that is... 50% more and I think after we hit level 81 that's not gonna work anymore, but uh, so we're taking advantage of it while we can uh, Gonna go ahead and grab our stamina. We probably have to do some stamina stuff anyway, and you can see 26 exp We also have some of this rest exp Which uh, I don't really know how that works yet, but it doesn't really matter whatever here We get 150 up to 270 and for the rest we got to clear some stories or some event stages I don't know if it's super necessary, but probably it is we still need a little over a thousand experience But here we also have 200 which is actually gonna be almost 400 gonna do the Sakura stage Which is uh, quite expensive 34 and then you know because of it's an event stage We'll get some event stuff quests going on there. I think this is actually my favorite Oops, whatever it doesn't matter. I think this is my favorite stage because it's like fun just to, like Drop all the way down, land on him, rinse, repeat. It's pretty cool. I do have to say I like how they just gave us double rewards and made it a one-time entry. It, first of all, it's cheaper when it comes to stamina and it doesn't take as long. We also have this like coin event every day, which is cool. Also got Valkyrie training. We're going to do that as well. I know I actually should be using mechs here, but actually God Kiana does just fine. It's probably actually still faster than one of my mechs since I don't have any good mechs. I kind of regret not going for Vermilion Knight. I'm kind of saving for a new exciting Valk because I heard we're pretty much caught up with the other servers now global. But I also did hear that we skipped like version 2.9. So that's where those uh, Blade Strike fragments were in patch 2.9 apparently. Uh, let's go ahead and do Drift World as well. So that kind of sucks. But since we're apparently not getting any Blade Strike fragments, I can spend all my Asterite and whatever else on the Elves. Uh, we got Blood Embrace and Jingwei's Wings, which I believe are the only two currently there anyway. Uh, I think I'm probably focusing more on Blood Embrace because she does seem like the more premium Elf. You know, Jingwei's Wings, everyone has it. You know, you're pretty much just given it. My Jingwei's Wings, I believe, is at 3-star, three, three though, so I've pretty much just been upgrading her when I got the stuff. I, I bought a lot of the eggs and whatever else in that, in that shop. I, I don't know if that's, like, right or wrong, but uh, pretty much I just uh, buy things and ask questions later. Dang, we're almost there already. 700 more. Let's go. Let's go grab some of this stuff. 54. 36. Oh, here we go. 180 more. We are getting close. 400. We can do it. Also, there's this newbie bonus that is uh, pretty easy to miss because like just when it pops up when you first lo log in for the day, I don't think this is here. You actually have to go to bonus and then like activate it. I'm just going for Umbral Rose because there was only Night Squire and one other and I think the others were at SSS already. Umbral Rose is only at SS right now or is maybe one of the maze. I forgot. You get some stuff and eventually Umbral Rose. And if you don't have her, it'll be Umbral Rose. If you do, I guess it'll tr turn into fragments, but I'm not too sure about that right now. Right now I'm focused on getting Wolf's Dawn to double S for that elemental damage boost. I was kind of dumb and I started Memorial Arena already and we have Veneris there and I took Yamabuki Armor instead of Wolf's Dawn. And she probably will be double S this week, so that's kind of a shame because, you know, for Benaris, you kind of do want elemental damage, and more of it from Wolf Sun would have been great. We have some expeditions finishing soon, which will give us some EXP as well. I don't know, might just wait for that. We're all out of stamina. Of course, we can just get more. I usually buy at least the 50 crystals worth of stamina per day. I don't know why I said at least. I actually never go to the 50 crystals for 60 stamina. That's a bit of a waste. However, I was able to level up decently fast. I mean, it was like, I think, five days since the update. But I think still, considering how much experience it takes from 80 to 81, I think it's somewhat fast. Uh, but uh, yeah, I had a lot of, like, stamina items saved up. You know, we still got quite a bit. Not really that much anymore, but uh, I'll be chilling quite a bit more once I hit 81 because I guess the card won't work anymore and I don't have to try and cram as much stamina into one hour as possible and I can just do the things when I want to and claim the things when I want to. But yeah, let's take a look at the elves while we're waiting for those things to finish. Here we have Blood Embrace, 
level 66. Um, could get her up to 70, but uh, I think I bought most of the cat food I can buy, so, you know, starting her up is going to be kind of expensive. As you can see, we're already kind of out of all of this stuff. Uh, so, yeah, we were kind of busy in the shop. Team Raid still hasn't opened. Still can't do anything with Team Raid, which is uh, unfortunate. I was looking forward to jumping into that. I played the tutorial thing. It looks pretty fun. Also, I'm missing that juicy 200 XP. Also, Scythe Angel. I recorded my gameplay from Scythe Angel 3. Uh, but I'm probably not going to actually make a dedicated video for that. But I just want to say that... I haven't been that angry in a while, especially Endless Horde. I know it's just because I'm not that good, but like, it's kind of brutal to get 30 seconds knocked off per hit. And they're like, and they, it seems like they have faster attack speed there, although that could just be in my head, because I know that I'm not allowed to get hit. And I only realized after doing all of this that I'm actually using my own Rita. Uh, I changed her once I realized that and got a little bit more points elsewhere. Also, I haven't done anything with Phantom Iron. I didn't even have Phantom Iron at that point. Uh, so obviously I didn't use her at all. Not even, not even like, put her in. But once I realized I'm using my own Rita, of course I could change mostly just the T-Stigmata depending on what I was doing. It actually seems not bad for her, but I've never really seen it recommended for her, so I don't know, but it sounds pretty good. I mean, her charge attack is incredibly strong, and once you get three charge attacks, the next Charge attack gains a 75% total damage multiplier, so I don't know, to me that sounds really good, and her charge attack was doing insane damage. I probably don't have whatever actually would be best for her, but that's working pretty well as well. It was just on my Scarlet Fusion beforehand, and I'm, I'm, very, I'm very sad to say that I don't use Scarlet Fusion all that much anymore. Still my favorite Valk. Still favorite Valk, but uh, yeah, it's just God Kiana is uh, kind of kind of just does everything to, for me, to be honest. Yeah, we're at 228 out of 250. We're doing pretty much every single one of her stages every day. Yes, even the 30 stamina ones. I may stop doing the 30 stamina ones once we hit level 81. And I guess since we don't get a bunch of Valkyrie Blade Strike fragments from this shop like the other servers do, uh, we're going to start farming her as well. I don't know if she has to be triple S to be good and take advantage of her like augment core or whatever. I am kind of far away from having those anyway. She does have stages where you can farm like six of them per day. Like this one, 12 stamina six times per day. Uh, this one I believe as well, yeah. 16 stamina six times per day. So it'll definitely be faster than pretty much every other Valk as far as farming goes. But still not as fast as I think one of my comments said they were getting 15 fragments per day every day for the duration of whatever event that was. So I'll be farming a bit, be back. The stage only takes 4 seconds, but the whole rotation takes about like 40 seconds because of all the other stuff. So we did our stage clears, got some more experience. We're shoot, we should be very close now. Look at that. One pixel left. 139. I actually never tested if we get more XP from the expedition battles with the chip. So I'm going to check that out in 2 minutes, 45 seconds. Hard 6-2 is 20 stamina, so that would typically give us 20 EXP. We're at 18.701. Got to be kind of quick. There's only like 5 seconds in between this one and the next one. And if I... Okay, let's grab this and check our EXP now. We are at 17.37. So indeed, the EXP chip counts for that. Okay, cool. Grab this one as well. We're getting so close. 773. It's like I'm making a big deal out of it, even though it's not really that big of a deal. I think we'll also get some, like, I think we'll get, like, 150 here in the uh, Expedition Stamina, which is cool. Let's grab this one. 31 more. Wait, what? Hold on a sec. Chapter 5, Normal Mode, I have 68%? That... I don't remember not doing those. What? Are these new? There's no way I would have just left that there all this time. I'm just gonna go farm a couple more Valkyrie Blade Strike fragments, and uh, that should do it, actually. One or two clears should do the trick. Ah, three more XP! There it is, level 81. Stamina, we got 60 stamina. Our max stamina, plus one. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. Thanks, guys. Any, like, pop-up telling us how awesome we are? No. But see, stamina available now, 150. So I don't think there are any places that cost 12, except those maybe Valkyrie Blade Strike fragments we already did. Ah, Yamabuki Armor has one with 12. Let's just do that. Oh, and of course, we can raise our Valks to level 81. I wonder if it's going to be a bigger difference than 
just typical weight. What? We can't? Oh no, I thought that's what we could do. Damn, I thought I could have some level 81 Velux. Can't exceed the captain level, but it's not. So the level cap of divine key skills has been raised to 10 for captains who have reached level 81. That's us now. Stamina limits, uh, daily expedition from 140 to 150. We already checked that out. Uh, it doesn't really say anything for 82, I think. But uh, that's apparently what happens with level 81. That's it? Yeah, I mean, okay. It says here though, exclusive contents including new adventure tasks, path of apothesis tiers, as well as divine key levels and skills will also be available. Path of apothesis is still locked. New adventure tasks, I would have to check. I don't see any new adventure tasks here. Unless they mean in open world, which probably could be. Have to wait till Thursday for that. I mean, I already saw some level 80 plus exclusive ones that drop some eggs or whatever for the elves. But that's just 80 plus, not 81. Oh, we can get Vermilion Knight with pure witch orbs. But I think the pure witch orbs are only the orbs you get when you have a triple S natural S Valk and you have too many fragments, so uh... It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a long time before I have any pure witch orbs. Oh, also we got our night moonbeam to double S. We got like 30 from the land of wishes thing in our mail. I have no idea actually what was going on with that, but whatever. And then we were like six fragments away, so we bought all six fragments from the from the shop thing. And while I don't use night night moonbeam super often, uh, it's cool because hair share got a new skill. I think it was an ultimate. Casting ultimate gives hair share charge. 360 which is kind of a lot which is awesome because I do it like right after going into the mode and then like when she's done with her ultimate her mode's almost gone but not anymore back to like full mode for a while so it's really nice but that's pretty much it for level 81 uh honestly even though I wasn't expecting much I was still expecting a little bit more uh the once the path of apothesis opens up Maybe it'll be more stuff. Also, open world, maybe there are some actual level 81 exclusive tasks. We'll have to see for that. But yeah, I guess that'll do it. We can quickly look at my elves again real quick, so I kind of just showed their levels and everything. The talent bank is pretty interesting. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, honestly. I got, I think, one in general for Jingwei's wings because, I mean, ultimately she is kind of a healer. So I was like, eh. That sounds good, right? Healing buffs, 8%. She just healed, like, kind of a lot, so... And then when you want damage, you're gonna take Blood Embrace anyway, right? She seems like just more pure damage, so I was upgrading physical damage. I unlocked one of her skills, and I think I gave her total damage multiplier. Did I actually give her that yet? Skill? Talent? Yeah, talent. Oh, wait. Why did I give her this one? I wanted to give her the total damage multiplier. Whatever. I'll figure it out later. I don't think it makes a massive difference right now until they're leveled up anyway. But, um, yeah, okay. Guess that's it. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Well, leaving a like if you did, haven't enjoyed, is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.